Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing great in this podcast. Welcome back again in another tutorial. I will walk you through some of the steps and recommendations that will help you improve your English. And we're going through a list of 100 tips that are going to help you improve your English dramatically. I've posted a few podcasts before regarding the basic tips and recommendations that you need to build the foundation on when it comes to improving your English skills. In this podcast of today, we're just pushing the limits a little bit further and we're trying to give you so, so many more recommendations <laughs> to improve your English. The first tip in this list of today is to practice, 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 practice. It's a sure way to improve your English. Listen to books on tape. Check these out at your local library or a bookstore that you have in your um, uh, Apple Store or Google Play. These are available everywhere, and books on tape are the best, actually. We call them audiobooks. They're really helpful to you to improve your English. Read any downloadable newspapers and magazines. I prefer, actually, magazines because they have very good eye-catching colors that will attract your attention. I remember when I was back in the United States, I had... Uh, um, I had trouble time practicing my English, so I went to an army base next to our school, and I met somebody called Joshua. Joshua was an uh, army soldier, and I told him, I want you to train me the American army-style training, but in the field of language. And he said, okay, I'm learning Arabic, you're learning English, we can mutually benefit from each other, but bring Next time, a magazine. So I brought Amer Scientific American. It's a very popular magazine in the United States. And uh, we started practicing reading uh, essays and articles from that magazine and other suggested magazines that he suggested to me. At that time, it was time. And um, I noticed a very good steady progress of my skills by the course of our training. He trained me military style. Um, in language, so he was always uh, strong when it comes to emphasizing the skills of listening, and he always emphasized that that was the best way he learned Arabic, and that's by the same token, the same and the best way to learn English. So listening to audio and watching YouTube videos um, are very um, essential elements to dramatically improve your skills. Um, if you enjoy music, listen to music and uh, watch music videos. They're going to help you, especially if you follow along with the lyrics. And learn the rhyme and rhythm of the songs and music. Because they are the same meters that we are using in English. They are the same key aspects of the beauty of English conversation. If you have radio on your telephone, I think your telephone or your mobile phone is the treasure of information that you can benefit from if you use it correctly. Watch videos again and again and again. But every time you watch it, watch it for like first time for vocabulary, the second time for grammar, third time for the general um, idea, and always ask questions. Learn how to ask questions in English. I have so many lessons on my page regarding how to ask correctly English questions. No matter where you are, don't be afraid to seek out others for help and ask for information. If you are learning vocabulary, try to use um, postcards or what we call them um, co slips, paper slips. I use them when I'm learning. Um, I put my words on flashcards and these flashcards, I cut them with scissors. So I scissored them. And uh, I start shuffling them and reshuffling them in order to learn, memorize the vocabulary and actively use the, uh, this list of vocabulary in my daily practice of English. Um, if you um, find yourself uh, learning from applications, use applications online, and, uh, but you need to make sure that the kind of applications that you use 
are uh, useful to you. If they are not useful to you, if you don't feel that you're learning anything from them, just stop using them and try to alter your skills and um, your learning strategies. Not your skills, but your learning strategies. Talk to yourself in front of a camera. Don't talk to yourself in the mirror. Talking to yourself in the mirror is just not useless. What you need to do is um, record yourself, record your voice in your phone, just like what I'm doing right now. I'm just recording this and I'm putting it as a lesson to you. And talk to yourself. Ask yourself some questions and try to uh, answer these questions. If you want to actively participate in productive conversation, uh, make up conversation and a dialogue with a list of questions that I've posted on my page, you can have hundreds of these questions online and start practicing on them. So these are a few tips that are related to communication. Uh, the next episode, I will be talking about education and how you can benefit from education, just like checking out bilingual books, and which is, this, which is going to be quick to gain more vocabulary and words, especially if you're reading English Arabic stories and you can check each page and see the Arabic translation of the story in English. So these are very beneficial tools to help you learn English and expedite the process of your learning and practice of this beautiful language. Thank you so much. This is Walid Khalid talking to you from Baghdad. And I'll see you in another podcast. Rabi'a Fadkum.